Welcome to HackerTrading.com. This is Hari Swaminathan. In this video, I'm going to show you what Bollinger Bands are. And if you've seen the video about uh, standard deviation, then this video is going to make a lot more sense. So Bollinger Bands are a technical analysis tool. It tells you uh, the stock price movement and plots it against one, two or three standard deviations. So the way you activate any technical analysis tool on the Think or Swim platform is you come into studies and then you say uh, you want to add uh, studies or edit studies. You can do either one. And here you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, technical analysis uh, tools. In fact, uh, uh, technical analysis has become a very extensive uh, field. But what we're going to do is uh, select the Bollinger Bands. Uh, the SMA is a simple moving average. And we're going to add this study. And when we add the study, it automatically has some default values. So what it does is it's going to show you two standard deviations down and two standard deviations up. So we're going to leave it at that and see how this looks on the on the graph. So what this is, the lower band is the minus two standard deviations and the upper band is the plus two standard deviations. Let me actually just correct the colors a little bit. Okay, so we are all set in terms of this is a one year chart of Google. And the midpoint represents uh, the midpoint between the two standard deviations. Uh, so the lower band is two standard deviations below the price. So if we look at a closer chart, uh, what I'll do is I'll make it a three month chart and a daily chart. So now we studied what one standard deviation was in the previous course. Now uh, what we're going to look at here is a two standard deviation move. So the Bollinger Bands gives you a two standard minus two standard deviation on the lower side and plus two standard deviations on the higher side. Now the statistical definition of a two standard deviation move says that 95% of the time the values of the data, in this case it's our stock prices, the values of the data will fall within the two standard deviation range. So which means on the flip side is that whenever it goes outside of the two standard deviation range, it will go only about 5% of the time. So here we are looking at a three month chart of Google and you can literally see that the number of times that it goes outside of these two bands is uh, here we have one, here we have two, here it goes out but it comes back in to close and here again it goes out but it comes back in. Here we have a reading outside the band and here also we have a reading outside the band but it closes inside. Here again we have a reading outside but it closes inside. So you can see that the two standard deviation move is pretty accurate. So 5% of the time the stock is going to go outside of this range. And so now how does this help us? It helps us because once you plot a stock price and you plot the two standard deviation uh, uh, Bollinger Bands around it, then you can see that if whenever it goes out of the band, it's more likely to come in. So, you know, some sort of a reversal is possible. Now, in this case, it actually just went flat. So it went flat for the next three days. But here you can see that it clearly went, uh, came into the band and it had a reversal. So the Bollinger Bands are very helpful if you can think of it as reversal points or as a potential reversal point. Now, again, you know, if you're unlucky, you could be in that 5% range when uh, it remains outside of the band and doesn't come in. But for the most part, you'll see that whenever the stock price goes outside of the two Bollinger Band, it's more likely to come back in. So here we see that it went flat. Here we see that it clearly came back into the band. So this was a very good reversal point. And here, also it came back in and it was a reversal point. So two out of three times it worked out very well and the third time when it didn't work out very well it just went flat. So 
what would be helpful is uh, you know whenever you see a stock going outside its two Bollinger Band level then you you can wait for the next reading and see what it does if the next reading also is outside the two Bollinger Band then you know sometime right after that you can expect it to come back into the band and so it could uh, tell it could signal to you a reversal pattern now all of these studies have default values so in, in this case uh, it's a minus 2 standard deviation and plus 2 standard deviation but if we come to the edit studies panel again and if we look at that you you, you can actually change this also so we can say um, let's do it to two and a half standard deviations so now if you put two and a half standard deviations and we apply that and look at it now you'll see that um, you'll have even less points outside the band now this point uh, you know this particular uh, day this trading uh, range here you can see that it actually comes inside the band so if you want to get very clear signals you can probably put it at two and a half standard deviations and if you do that then what it's telling you is probably about 97 to 98 percent of the time all price movement will be inside the two standard deviation band so Bollinger Bands I find it very helpful because it can signal to you overbought or oversold conditions and if not on the next trading day uh, maybe in the next day or two you should see prices come back into the band so it, it, it's actually quite uh, quite helpful uh, to uh, view the Bollinger Bands and see if you want to take a reversal trade so here if you were long if you were bullish and the stock went up all the way till here you could potentially sell your position right here because it's gone outside of the band and if you if you did sell it there then um, you would be locking in a profit similarly if you come to this point and said okay if it's going to go below the lower band then perhaps I need to go long here and if you did go long you could have caught about a ten dollar move on Google uh, right here so Bollinger Bands are very helpful Bollinger Bands are part of the technical analysis arsenal we cover technical analysis volume analysis and uh, all these different um, all the all the most important indicators in module 5 so please be sure to check that out in module 5 we have uh, a complete uh, review of uh, all the major all the most important uh, technical analysis tools Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please send us an email at info at hackertrading.com or I'll see you in the next video.